start at the beginning. It's a good place to start. So our first date, we went to Torchy's Tacos. That's the best queso. They have their queso is really it's delicious. good. We just we hit it off so well. We just talked mm -hmm. what seemed like forever. Never really fight. Like our biggest fight was about like it was about a cookie. <laughs> like, we were like, yeah, this is the person that we're gonna want to be with. Like, yeah. you know, don't really want to do anything to their relationship or try and find somebody else, you know. Mm -hmm. we, we felt like we found our person. And just be like comfortable with being around each other at all times. It felt like effortless. It didn't take a lot of work. We just want to be next yeah, to each other. Yeah, just comfortable just in each other's space. Just always wanting to hang out. <laughs> my dearest Anthony, no words can describe how full my heart is today or how full my heart has been these past three years. There has never been an easier decision in my life than being with you and deciding to spend the rest of my life with you. Brooke, one year ago today, I asked you the most important question of my life, and you gave me the easiest answer of yours. These last three years have been the best of my life, as I had the privilege to grow close to you. Our love is so effortless, natural, passionate, and consuming. I can't even imagine starting a family or growing old with anyone else but you. My life is better with you in it, and you make me a better man. You truly are my best friend and soulmate. We have had so many adventures to experience and so many more challenges to overcome. As long as you are by my side and holding my hand, I'm ready to take the world on with you. These are the moments that we will never forget. I will see you at the end of the aisle. Yours forever, Brooke. I cannot imagine facing the world with anyone besides you at my side. I could write pages about how much I love and cherish you, but you already know. You're my everything, now and forever. Yours always, A. P.S. I love you most. Anthony, your love, your heart, your mind inspire me to be the best person that I can be. I vow to love you all of my life, respecting you, supporting you, being faithful to you, and sharing my life through the good and the bad. I vow to grow with you in both spirit and in faith, and I vow to always find warmth and comfort in you, especially when my hands and toes are ice cubes, <laughs> like right now. <laughs> Together, we will create our own home, our own family, maybe a couple more cats, and become one another's other half. I vow to love you as you are and grow old by your side as your soulmate and your best friend. Brooke, I love how we can always find something to laugh at together. I love how kind and generous and optimistic you are no matter what. I promise to be patient and kind with you always. I promise to tuck you in when you fall asleep on the couch and let you have a bite of any cookies that you want. I promise to look at you with the same love in my eyes, even when we're old and gray. I can't wait to raise a family of lots of cats and a few children. <laughs> Through the good and the bad. Brooke means the world to me. We, we were inseparable when we were younger. Like I said, every single waking moment together, we lived not even five minutes down the street from each other. And now we live 15 hours from each other, but we still call each other with life updates. And we're on the phone for like, sorry, like two hours. <laughs> Brooke has one of the most relaxed, selfless hearts in the entire world. Congratulations, and I love both of y'all so much. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, I'm Anthony's brother. I've always looked up to Anthony ever since I was born, obviously. And uh, he may not be the taller brother, but he always was right. All jokes aside, uh, it's not always easy being the older brother, but Anthony always seemed to accept the challenge and conquer it, obviously. Anthony has always been my biggest role model, leading me when I'm lost, helping me when I need help, and protecting me when I was in trouble. Without him, I think my parents would have gone insane. Uh, one thing I have noticed over the past three years with Anthony is that I have never seen him this happy before. From the day he met Brooke to when I met you, I knew you were the one for him. 
You truly are a special woman, and I cannot wait for to see what the future holds for you and Anthony.